Hey everybody, today I'm going to talk about a heart condition. It's a temporary heart condition, whereas the heart recovers from the shape that it takes during this certain event. And this is called a Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. It's also known as a broken heart syndrome. So while I start talking about this syndrome that I have, I'm going to put up a picture, um, like a diagram that I got offline into this video, and it will explain a little bit um, more where you can see what I'm talking about. So you're going to see this um, as I'm talking now. You'll see it temporarily. But anyways, I need to look down and tell you all about this because it's, it's too much off the top of my head. Anyways, Takotsubo takes its name from a Japanese octopus trapping pot which resembles the shape of the distressed left heart ventricle seen in this broken heart syndrome. Now, I'm telling you about this because a lot of my viewers, if you are or subscribers, if you watch my videos, sometimes I'll talk about the heart condition that I have. Sometimes I'll tell you about the way I've changed my life, my lifestyle, and my way of thinking about life and being um, thankful for the things I have, living a simple life, knowing that our lives are so precious that they can be taken away from us in any situation. And like the thing that I suffered, this Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, um, I realized a lot about life, what matters, what doesn't matter, what's worth fighting for, what's worth um, letting go. But anyways, I'm going to get back to this Takotsubo cardiomyopathy. All right. So Takotsubo cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome is a temporary heart condition, whereas the heart does return to its normal shape that occurs in response to an intense emotional or physical experience. During this condition, the heart's main chamber changes shape, affecting its ability to pump effectively. Um, and the treatment that I am on, I take a beta blocker and I take a blood pressure medication. And I take the beta blocker to keep my heart rate on the low side. As a result of the Takotsubo cardiomyopathy that I have, I now have an adrenaline sensitivity. Now, the Takotsubo um, cardiomyopathy or the event is just like a heart attack, where I call my event a heart attack. It's the one I speak of often. And the reason why um, it resembles a heart attack is because it presents itself just like a heart attack. The pain, the symptoms, everything mimics a heart attack. And the only difference um, between this and a heart attack is there is not a blockage in your heart. What happens, just like I described and showed on the picture, is that your heart's left ventricle takes on a different shape. It has a ballooning um, effect or appearance where the blood just does not pump effectively. Now, this Takotsubo or broken heart syndrome I'm sure you've heard of broken heart syndrome. It is real. And this is a condition that is not really spoken about. And when I found out that I had it, or that is the event that I had, I thought, you know, broken heart syndrome, that usually happens when someone, you know, goes through a really personal struggle or a huge emotional stress, or, you know, you hear of, um, you know, someone dying because their spouse died and they died of a broken heart. Well, they can also occur due to a severe illness. And my doctors have concluded that my Takotsubo or broken heart syndrome event happened after um, 2020 when I had the, um, the big virus. Now my event happened almost two years 
after having that virus for a year and a half. Um, what else can I say about it? You do recover. You do recover. Your heart usually goes back into the normal shape that it was before the event. Um, and that is seen through, um, what do you call it, echocardiogram. I'm trying to bring this all together, I'm sorry. Through an echocardiogram, my last echocardiogram showed that my heart has returned to its normal shape. So that is the heart condition that I have. Um, Takotsubo, doing my own research, these events mostly happen in women that are like menopausal age or postmenopausal elderly. Sometimes it can happen to men though, the broken heart syndrome. And again, it's usually due to a like a dire stress or tragic event in your life. Now, the things that I've had to change in my life as far as um, lifestyle, my cardiologist told me, and this is kind of sad, that the term scared to death could happen to me someday. Um, if someone comes up behind me and not purposely trying to hurt me or just comes up behind me and says my name, I will jump because my adrenaline, I have an adrenaline sensitivity and right away my heart will start palpitating and that's where the beta blocker comes in. And for the most part, it it keeps it at bay or shortens the palpitations that I get if someone scares me. Um, but sometimes, you know, it takes a little bit to, you know, bring myself together. Watching scary movies. I, I don't watch scary movies. Um, I don't put myself in scary situations. Um, I'll probably never ride a roller coaster again in my life. When I go to the gym, if I try to walk really fast on the treadmill, I'll get a little bit of chest pain. And I talked to my cardiologist and they told he told me that that is exactly what the beta, block, beta blocker does. It keeps my heart rate low. So if I'm doing an extreme fast um, paced walk or an incline and my heart is trying to beat really fast, I get a little bit of pain because the beta blocker is kicking in, keeping my heart rate low. So that's why I don't do an, an extreme, you know, hill climbing or anything, because I just don't have um, the heart for that, you know, no pun intended, but that's because I have the adrenaline sensitivity. So, in short, that is um, the heart condition that I have. Again, most people recover from this Takotsubo cardiomyopathy or broken heart syndrome. And do we know that these are gonna come on? Did I have any warning that something was going on in my heart? Yes, the morning of my event, which I call my heart attack because these mimic a heart attack. That morning, I woke up feeling really weird. When I say weird, I just felt short of breath. I felt something wasn't right. I felt very nauseous. And when I was looking in the mirror, getting ready for work, I said, you know, my skin looks like, like a gray, like a bluish gray. And I just couldn't concentrate. And I just, I, I couldn't breathe right. And I said, I need to get out of here, I need to go to work. I need to go where people are because I live by myself, or my son's home now, but he was active duty in the Navy and I live by myself. And I said, I need, I can't, something's going on. So I drove to work and I didn't stop to get a coffee. I didn't stop to get gas. I didn't stop at a store or anything. I needed to get to work. And I walked in and I remember a girl telling me, the receptionist telling me she liked my shoes. And I said, thank you. I got them at Savers. And then I went into my office and I looked at one of my staff and I said her name. I wasn't even working five minutes. I said, I don't feel good. And I walked out of my office and I sat myself in a chair 
and I went into this full-blown attack. And I think maybe if you've seen any of my other videos explaining exactly um, that, the video was probably about a year or two ago. Yeah, it, it hurt. It was a classic heart attack sim symptoms, like the, the holding my chest, and it was, it was bad. And then I was in the hospital for about a week, and they did a cardiac catheterization where um, they put like a camera through your vein, through your artery. Sometimes they do it through your artery here. Other times they, they go through your groin. And it goes right up to your heart. And they inject a dye, and it shows your heart. And it showed exactly what my situation was, the Takotsubo cardiomyopathy, or the broken heart. So I am closely followed by my cardiologist. I asked my cardiologist, how long will I be on this medication, this beta blocker? And he said, for the foreseeable future, which would mean for the rest of my life, because we're trying to prevent something like this happening again. I know my limits now. I know what I can do, what I can't do, what I should do, what I shouldn't do. Now, as far as it bringing a sense of gratitude and what life is all about, sometimes when things like that happen to us, like I said, it's made me realize how good I have a life, how, how nice things I have, whether they come from a thrift store or a discount, the little things that I have, the small things that I do in my life, the clearance shopping that I do, the, the simple lifestyle that I have is good enough for me because things like that, like my cardiomyopathy, like my broken heart that I have, as sad as that sounds, really puts things into perspective on how life is precious, how there was a possibility that I wouldn't pull through what I did had I not gone to work and had this happened to me alone at home. I wouldn't have known what to do. I wouldn't have had the nurses and everybody around like I do at my workplace. I work in a nursing home. I probably wouldn't have got through that without medical attention. So it puts so much into perspective of how life means to me. So I've been meaning to tell my viewers and my subscribers, because I hint around about my heart condition often, that that is what I have. Again, most people recover from Takotsubo or broken heart syndrome. I myself, my heart has gone back into shape, but it has left with some residual damage that I adapted a different lifestyle to. Medication, my heart is regulated, or my heart rate is regulated, my blood pressure is kept low. Um, I take a low dose baby aspirin to keep the blood flowing good, to keep from clotting. And I live my life the best I can every day. Am I always active? No. Some days I know when I just need to sit and be still. There are times um, when my heart gets a little funny in the morning. My cardiologist did tell me that I've been left with a little bit of AFib also. So I know when that's happening. I check my heart rate. I have an app on my phone that I consult, you know, if not every day, every couple days. When I feel my heart starting to race a little bit, I sit down and I check it. I can take it, I can chew a regular aspirin and that gets things back to where they are. Another thing that I do when I feel my heart racing a little bit is I have to cough hard, several co hard coughs and that helps it, but yeah. So if you've ever heard of broken heart syndrome, like I said, the medical term is a Takotsubo cardiomyopathy because a Takotsubo is a Japanese um, octopus trap, and that's what your heart takes the shape of, as odd as that sounds. So yeah, that's what I have. I have a broken heart syndrome. But if anything, it has made my heart softer, 
It has made my heart more caring and it has made my heart want to live the best I can every day. So that's what it is, broken heart syndrome, and it is possible to recover from it. Thank you for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.